Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, this is where we are here in the S&P for today, folks. Uh, there was, uh, actually, this was our first 382 retracement. It was right here off of the high from overnight. That was right there. This is when the program started. There was our first sale right here. We covered it there, sold it back here, and we just covered the position uh, right here, that was the ABCD. So this is what we did on the day. It, it worked pretty good. We had a, a big move in silver, uh, but we missed that. Uh, we did catch some of the gold move out. Whoa, boy, we're still going down. This is good. Okay, here is the gold. Uh, unfortunately, we, we finished the program right here. And now we've come down, and this has been a pretty big move to the downside. Now, you notice here that we have another 382 off of this one coming in here. Uh, pretty much spot on. So... That's pretty much it. Now, I wanted to give you one other thing here that we've got going on here, and that is the uh, – we missed this one here. This was an absolute beauty. This is the crude oil. I think we'll get the hour the hourly chart up here. There's where we were, folks. So we, <laughs> we had an order sitting right there at 71. It got to 67, and then, of course, we had the, the big breakdown. Now, all the break has done so far – is to come down to this level right here by far. This ended up being one of our best trading days uh, ever for our full line of things. We had a couple of small losses in there. The bonds worked okay for us. Uh, we took a, a small loss in the first crude oil trade uh, right here. We took a 30, a 40 pip t stop here. Then we missed this part right here on the way down. But we did catch that big move down in the stock market. That was a real simple one to get. And it's actually doing pretty good. The other thing that's happened here, let's just see where we are right now because we're at the proverbial moment of truth. We've dropped almost uh, two. Oh, we did. We dropped two dollars a barrel right here. That level, if you go from your low right up here to your high, there's your exact 61% retracement coming in right here. And uh, we're really close to the 78% level on this one. So it's really important right where we are now is to see if this is going to hold. And that's the main thing. Hold on here one second, folks. I have to do something, and I want to make sure I, I do it right, because if we don't hold this low right here at uh, 6,100, boy, we are going to break down big time. If we look at this on the daily, let's just do the four-hour, because all the work is done. You can see we're making new lows as we speak. And here's where we are. Let's just clean out these right here. See, this has been the downturn. We've had a nice move here this week. We've each one of these rallies. So there's your one three five pattern. We we pointed it out. You know, see we're we're starting to head down even lower now, folks. So that means we've got another target down in here, uh, substantially lower here. Let's take a look at it. There's your A B leg right here, and here's your C D leg, and that's going to come in down here at about uh, fifty one fifty five. And we'll see if that's going to hold. Now we need to go back to our last major low. Uh, um, people are trying to do things to me. Folks, I, I, <laughs> I got so much going on today. This is actually you know, a long-term chart, folks. This isn't too bad. There was a big correction right here. We're probably really close to the 382 retracement on this uh, right now. And, uh, oh, that comes in right here. Oh, that's where it comes in here. Woo, right here at 54, folks. Pay attention to this one. This would be a really interesting one. 54. Now let's check the ABCDs that we've got right here. And there they are. So we're coming into some really strong support. So far, the low has been 59. Let's uh, pay a little bit uh, close attention to that right now. Okay. All righty, let's move on here to one other thing that I want to do, and then I'll be uh, right back, hopefully. I've got to do some things, folks. We've had a, uh, just to show you what's been going on here, 
this is the uh, hold on a second here. This was our this was our net profit here in the S and P uh, for today. Uh, for the gold, we ended up making a little bit after we got banged around a little bit, and then we came. Oh, where is it right here? Where is it right here? And there's a gold market right here. We ended up making seven hundred dollars, six hundred ninety dollars in gold. We made some money in bonds, but uh, let's move on here. Just one second here. I think I'm going to have to to uh, buy the S and P here, possibly here. I think what I'm going to do here is just buy it on a buy stop if it gets uh if it comes up a little bit more. How about that? That's what which we'll do. We'll just buy it if we get a little bit of a little bit of a bounce. We've had a good run, so we don't want to let anything, you know, get out of our way. And because if we if we start breaking a lot lower than this on the downside, then it's going to get a, a whole lot worse. So anyway, it was all in all, it was a very good day. And uh, but this is a real moment of truth here, down folks where we are. So we need to pay close attention. Remember, we're coming down here since April. This is a 10-day correction, and look at all of it right here. I mean, this is Mother God and Country stuff, folks. The fact is, you got to get ready to, uh, you know, you got to get ready to buy it. It would be my guess. Uh, you know, it's, we've still got. Uh, you know, three hours left in the trading day, for God's sake. Looks okay to me. As a matter of fact, yeah, 55. The low has been 59. We're at 64. So I'm going to be watching this here real closely. As you can hear from my voice, I'm just a tad tired. Three hours nonstop. We had a lot of fun. And hope you'll be able to join us on the 26th. Uh, but we did have, this was uh, our second best trading day that we've ever had of the seven days that we've done so far. So that's uh, pretty, pretty much what we're watching right here. Now, I happen to still be short this level right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to leave that stop working. But what I want to do, go down to a smaller time frame. Let's go down to that right in here. So if we start getting above here, this would be the first sign that maybe something is going to happen that's good. Because this is, it might not work, but that is, uh, there's your first three drive pattern right here. There's your second one right here. That's really near the, uh, uh, what you call it, the uh, hello operator. The uh, Hold on, I've got to, I, I'm talking myself into doing something. And so that's what I'm going to do. I want to come up and I'm going to change this here a little bit here. And I'm going to make this a two lot instead of a one lot. And uh, I only do one at a time here because uh, when we uh, have these things, uh, you know, you're busy doing so many darn things that you can't do everything at once. But anyway, that's what we we got some major stuff is what I'm trying to say down in this area. Below here, uh, not so much. But that's what we're, you know, paying, uh, you know, sort of close attention to uh, here today. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. When we come back from the break, which will be shortly, let's just see how shortly it'll be. Uh, in 48 seconds, we'll take a look. Uh, no guest today. Mr. Napoli was not able to join us. So let's uh, keep our eye on the prize and see what's going to happen here uh, for the rest of the day. But we're really close to what I think could be a pretty big bottom. What we need to do when we come back is to look at the NASDAQ and the Russell and all these others just to see what they're doing. Okay. So let's bear with us here and see what uh, see what's going on. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters 
letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, here's the chart of the NASDAQ. And as you can see here, we've got higher bottoms in here. Today's low has uh, just went to the 78% level. Now, if we start getting below that, boy, then that's going to be, that would be pretty nasty. We've already done that in the S&P. Let's stop and see uh, what we've done here with the uh, Russell, just to see what's going on here. And uh, RTY is right here. Get the Russell up. This should be, uh, well, hasn't even made new lows from yesterday yet, folks. That's a big surprise. But there's where we are right now. We had a rally today. Let's just look at this on the hourly basis to see if our good friend, the old 382, was any help today. I don't trade this very often, but uh, here was today's high. And, uh, well, you got a higher high back here, too. you got to use that one. There's your higher high right here. And if you pull that in right there, and look, there it was yesterday, 382. And that was yesterday, and then we had one today that is right there. It still hasn't made new lows, but it looks like it's uh, looks like it's going to be on its way. Hold on one second. There's the other 382 coming in right there. So let's keep a close eye on that one because it looks like we're getting ready to go a great deal lower. Now, we had one other one that's hit a major price objective today folks this is our good friend the euro and as we look at this we're going to go down to our four hour chart i believe or might have been the daily nope it was a daily you can see how bearish this is this looks like that bond chart basically but we did make one of our objectives today here it is this is the uh down move here in the euro remember we've been short this for quite a while you go back and look, I mean, you had, uh, there was your first 61% retracement. Let's just do this together, folks. I am doing, if you want to call in, that would really be super because I am one tired puppy. This is where we got super interested in it was right here on the downside. You had lower tops coming in right here. You can see that right here. Now, we've just completed the culmination of this one right here, I believe. Ah, shucks, hold on just a second. I can use the mouse, and that's about the extent. There's your ABCD. There is your low today. 
pretty much spot on. Check and see where it was off the February low to the high. Brought you right in to the exact 1.27. So far, that's what's held. Anything into new ground would, of course, be uh, would be quite uh, negative, I would think. Okay, so that's another one that we want to be watching. Okay, now let's move on here. Wow, we're back down to the lows again already here in the S&P. That tells you tells you this thing doesn't look uh, doesn't look too good now because <laughs> it looks like it's ready to uh, go down some more. So I uh, I'm going to stand aside now. I've had a pretty good run in this thing, and I don't want it to get uh, get out of out of health helter skelter. But remember, the number down here is 51.55, folks. If we look at this on this long term daily. Let's get it up here. Oh, shucks. Somebody took it away. The 382 on this whole thing is 31. Uh-oh. Uh something's wrong. I don't know. Oh, I'm using the wrong low. we got to go back to our low right back here. This is the one that we're... Folks, I am only hitting on about two-cylinder after three hours of... Uh, I don't know where that number came from. Let me go to the uh, let me go to the hourly uh, four hour chart because that's usually where I get. There it is, right here. There it is. Thirty one fifty six. Is there it is. There's the three eight two right here. Uh, the Nasdaq is now making new lows, folks. And here's where we are now. We're down into this area right here. We're almost at the proverbial moment of truth here at fifty one fifty six. Let me uh, turn off the. Uh, the Nasdaq because it just started to hit. Hold on just a second here. Yeah, see, we're making new lows here on the Nasdaq as we speak, but we haven't made new lows from the other day. Let's get the, uh, I think that was a four hour two, wasn't it? Yeah, see, we are, we've now broken below the 78% level here. See, so we are, we're getting ready to take this out here very, very shortly. So, the one we got to watch here is this 4154. Let's just do that to 5154 here. Since we're on the air, we get to do it live. The problem is this big swing right here. See this big swing? Look how it stopped. Now, what we should do, because I try to teach this, there was this move down right here. Okay. Oh, shucks. Hold on. The high down to the low. Okay. Now, let's see what this one's going to measure to. High down to the low says we're going to go even lower than that. So now what we need to do is to draw all of the ABCDs in, which we're going to do now to see how close we're coming here. 58, wow, 54, 55. This is going to be an interesting one. Here's your AB leg right here. That one measures to 51.56. One right behind it is the same. That one measures the 55, 54. We're at 51, 58 right now. The low has been 51, 57. So guess what? Hold on here a second. Someone's giving me a ring here. Washington, Marshall, buddy, what's up, pal? I got I got up to my butt in alligators. What can I help you with, pal? Well, I thought I'd throw you another alligator. How about soybeans? Yeah, soybeans, we're going to cover that in just a second here, but i got to keep an eye on these. That was one of the things we were watching here in soybeans today, because if you believe in 382, you can see what happened today. Remember, we had this big buy down here at the 61% retracement right there, as you can see, and now we had the rally up and stopped exactly at the 382 and immediately dropped 15 cents, Marshall, so that made the first profit objective, and we're going to wait to see what happens next. I agree with you. And, well, and that's I good. want you to get some rest there, Bubba. Oh, no, it's three hours nonstop. We made a lot of money, but I'm just tired, and I made trading errors. Oh, my God. Did I, make, I made about three or four trading errors, and that's, oh, look at the gold. 2369 folks oh my goodness let's just take a quick look at that gold stay with us here marshall we'll take a uh, quick look on gold because we just made the long term daily here hold on just a second here uh oh we're hit well we just hit where we did we get did we hit the 55 let me see where we are we're, we got down as low as 56 or 57 my beepers are going off so quick, uh, Marshall, that I can't even answer the phone half the time. Let me get this uh, 
this gold up here so we can take a quick look at it here because it just made a big target on an ABCD. Just a second here because I was just ready to take the profit on this thing. Where are we at here? I think I got to do this on the 13th. Oh, crying out loud. Now it won't even give me the... Marshall, this is the kind of day it's been, buddy. Hold on a second. There it is right here. We are right there on the gold here at the 78% level. But look at this, folks. Here, it's beeping right now. Hold on. This is Boy, this gold's got to hold here, folks, or it's dead. Look at this 13-minute here. On the, We did this early. This is the – oh, it was eight minutes. Sorry, folks. I believe it was eight minutes. I did so many things going on here. You'll be able to see it. No, it must have been a four-minute, so we're doing them all. This is it. had to be this one. There it is right here. There's the four-minute, and it measures to right there. Let's just see where we are. Your ABC. Marshall, thanks for joining me, buddy. Call me again. <laughs> There's where oh, we are right there. Okay, now I got to get back to the old stop and be here, folks, because we've got down as low as uh, 56. I'm not going to risk. We're right here right now, so I am going to be right back. Ah. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, folks, we're trading at actually we're one penny below 51.54. That's the long term ABCDs on these S&Ps. We've got uh, two and a half hours to go in the trading day. We get much lower, folks. We're going to be looking at a CRASH either today or on Monday. Because if we close below there, it's good night, Charlie. So let's uh, pay close attention. The metals have certainly done something. We've had a $70 move on gold to the upside, and we got a caller coming in. Let's see who that is. Swing your chart into the screen. You can't see the chart? Oh, man. Well, let me try it again. Hold on. Boy, I'll tell you. I should be real careful here because I'm really tired and I can't make any airs today, boys and girls. It's very, very important here. Hold on. Get up here and take a quick look at these things here where we are. Okay, we're, we're uh, 53, so it's maybe it breaks down. I don't know. We'll have to wait. See, the NASDAQ hasn't even taken out the previous day's lows as of yet. When that happens, look out, Gertrude, because you see we're starting to uh, go a little bit lower here with two and a half hours left to go in the day. We break below this, folks. This, is, uh, this tells us that we're going down really, really big time, you know, a lot more. In fact, we're already through there already so uh, be really careful just a penny or two but watch it that's uh, very very important to pay a close attention to that all right uh, if anybody has any questions I know they don't but let's take a look here at these bonds we sold the bonds <laughs> hold on just a second here folks <clears throat> just a minute here we actually took some profits in that today we had a really nice 382 here in the bonds. We covered, we made some money on that of about uh, $300. Made the 382, as you can, well, let's get it out of the way here. You'll be able to see it <clears throat> from your high down to your low. Went right up to the three, it was the 382 of this one. Sorry, folks. Folks, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say that I'm just flat out exhausted after that three hour thing. There was where we sold. There was our first profit objective, and we took it that. Now we're rallying back a little bit. So want to pay close attention uh, to that one as we look at that, okay? Now there's two and a half hours left to go in the day, and we're down a considerable amount. Let's just move this over here. If you have any questions, it would certainly be nice if you were to uh, call in because uh, it would really be helpful. Uh, here's the Russell has now taken out the lows of the previous day right in here. We've just took, taken that out just now by just a little bit. It's just done that uh, in the Russell. The NASDAQ has not got there yet. There's where we are. Nope, hasn't even taken out any of these lows yet of the, of the 10th or the 11th, but, you know, it certainly could. That means bigger move uh, coming in here to the downside. So that's what we're that's what we're doing here. I uh, I covered all the short positions on this stuff because we were dealing uh, we were dealing with a chart, of course, that told us it should have stopped here and it didn't. And then it rallied up and now it's breaking down. This is not a good sign, folks. It just looks like it wants to go even more lower. So the only thing that you've got going for it is now, right now, is this long, ah, shut the front door, <clears throat> is this right here. These big, these big numbers, oh, you're talking about not very much on some of these things, but, you know, that's, this is it. I mean, the problem is, look, we've been down here. For, this is one day's action, folks. Look at this. Makes a big bottom and turns right around and goes back down. That's it. Let me just show you something on a smaller time frame. Just get up here. I wanted to show you last night. This is uh, on the way down and going on. But just after the market made its high up here at 49, I want, to, want you to see this pattern right here, okay, because this is important right? when you do these smaller patterns. This was the high that it made at 49. This was right after the close, okay, right into the close. All I did, I love ABCDs. So what I did is I drew this in. And I said, well, there's your first one. There's your first 382 retracement right here, folks, when the market was still moving around. This was last night, all night long. Look at this. Went right up to this level and then down and all of these others on the way down. That's all they've been. You know, they just it just keeps going lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. So who knows? We're either at a major bottom here today, folks, or it's sayonara for some of these things. It's literally... That's what it looks like. I think we're at a major bottom, but again, you know, who knows? The bottom so far has been uh, 
52, we're right at 54, but there's no changing in sight. It's even the last rally that we had here. Let's just see this this little um, mount rally meant vir virtually nothing, and look, we're breaking below all the 618s now. So this is a this is a market that's getting ready to crash. I believe we're down 70 some points in the uh, S and P already. We could easily be down well over 100 handles. You've had a dollar and a half retracement retracement in a bull market of course of silver you've had an uh 90 dollars so far in gold from high to low i mean all these things are telling you that uh, something's going on three dollar move in crude oil see where crude oil is doing still going down oh it's coming back folks we might oh we just had a 382 retracement in crude oil there it is right there and I don't know why I didn't get filled. Let me double check here. Uh, this is a hourly chart, so let me move over. Oh, I know why, because it made that lower low. Hold on, let me clean all this out here a little bit. Yeah, see, it made that lower low, so the 382 doesn't come in until much higher. And there's where I'd be selling. You see, there's the order right there, 86.47. So that's where look, there's gold breaking another 267. We're down 80, 90 dollars now in the gold market. Uh, boy, oh boy, that is a uh, not a good sign here on some of these things that we're moving in. And we're going to be going lower still, I guess. So we're going to be paying very, very close attention to this one. Here's the S&P. We'll be watching this. This is such a big number, folks. I ought to get in and buy it, but frankly, I'm tired. And if I put orders in on days when I'm tired. It's uh, it's tough, but we're going. I've said many many times over the years, we've had lots of times where uh, you know you you make errors when you're really retired and, and re retarded maybe, but tired definitely for sure. But I made errors this morning uh, on the show today uh, because I was. Uh, I mean, I slept well, but we were in the heat of the battle. We were making good money, but then I, I went. I, I entered the crude oil a little too much. I missed the order in gold by a couple of cents, and then, you know, fortunately, the stock market kept dropping and dropping, and that made of our big profits. The bonds were down good. Uh, we didn't buy the euro because uh, I missed it. It had already made the bottom by the time the show came on. It's rallied just a few hundred dollars, but but uh, here's somebody's out here asking me a question now. We got Al from Texas in, and he wants to talk about KRE. Al, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing very well, Larry. Hold Let's on, let, take me, turn, let me take, turn this off here. There okay. we go. You want to I'm, ask about? I'm, stay with us. We got to pay a few bills. We'll be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, 
gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm back and we're talking with Al from Texas. Al, what can I do for you? Ask about the regional banks. Yes, sir. My favorites. <clears throat> I started uh, shorting them um, a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. And so far, so good. And I just wanted to touch base with you on what you're seeing and uh, what you think. And, well, it looks um, like they, they uh, certainly look like they want to go lower. Yeah. That's about what I see. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's about all I can tell you is to stay short. What, it, what you don't want to do is you don't want it to. They're trading at 46, 43. Do not. Uh, if it gets, if it rallies a point from here, 4740, uh, something's wrong, Al. So make sure that you have a stop in, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and also right. I wanted to just give you an update from last time we talked. I finally was able to uh, uh, get things uh, stabilized with my houses, and uh, I just want to say and tell folks out there, you know, sometimes it's good to have good people around you that will lead you. And help you out to the right resources, and uh, you're you're one of them. You're a great encouragement with the rest of all the other folks I've met along the way, and I count it as a blessing, a very well, very can't, ble good blessing. I say the same to you, my friend. So thanks for joining in, my friend. I really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, of course. You're welcome, and uh, take care, Larry. We'll, we'll chat soon. Okay, you bet. Okay, folks, uh, there comes a time in a person's life where they got to make a decision, folks, and I'm really tired and I shouldn't be doing this. I'm probably going to make some bad mistakes, so I'm going to close it up today. Uh, they'll let them play some nice music for you, but I, I cannot, cannot continue. I am just flat out beat, and I'm going to make a mistake, and I don't want to do that. I bought it down here at 55. It's trading at 62. I'm going to put my stop at 51. That's the end of the story, and I'm sticking to it. May God bless. I'll see you all on the flip side on Monday, God willing, and she usually is. So be safe out there, okay? Thank you very much, folks. Mm -hmm.